Hello and welcome to Broad Skilling. Uh, today we're going to talk about what Broad Skilling is and why you should care. And we're going to walk through what Broad Skilling resources you can use today. So Broad Skilling is a reference. It's a reference to a framework to define your own personalized plan to be successful in the future economy. What's that mean? Well, the future of work is going to be quite challenging. And speaking with HR representatives, uh, working with schools, it became pretty clear to me that um, there is a laundry list, list of skill gaps, but they boil down to three things. To be employable, you need to be future aware. You need to have a specific plan to be relevant. That means you need to have a specific idea about roles and skills and, and how you're going to develop those skills, career preparation pathways. They have to fit your goals, aptitudes, and interests, and frankly, your budget just need to have a plan you can always change it the third component is really building your own personal brand uh, having a resume is not going to get you a job you need to know people you need to have an online referenceable portfolio of your skill set with evidence the more concrete that is the better the more media you have the better so broad skilling is having a plan to do these three components now what the broadskilling.com website will allow you to do is to create that plan. Uh, there are three components and each one has an outcome. Uh, broad skilling caused the outcome number one being future aware called context before career. The second component having a plan to be relevant. The outcome there is called direction before decision. You want to have clear specific direction about what your intentions are before you make decisions about what skill sets you're going to develop and how to do it. Third outcome is building your personal brand and that is to create the evidence of your skill sets. So let's look at how you're going to do it. There are two ways to access broad scaling resources. One is to click the get started button on the home page. The other way is if you scroll up, you can start broad scaling now. You can click the drop down. And let's say that we're going to do component number one. We're going to become future aware. For each of the three components, there's a downloadable template that you can use. You can make a copy of it and fill it out and make it your own. The intention here is for you to write down what your insights are after doing the research. We'll look into that a bit later. Broad Skilling provides curated content for each component and each of the three templates that you can fill out to have your own plan. I keep this updated. You can look at the different sections here. You can see there's something about the specific to 2020, 2021, and that is about the uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic because that happens to be current and I'll keep that updated uh, for current events. You need to know about predictions for future work, what future technologies are going to be in place, um, what the jobs would look like, what skills you need, and also who can you follow to stay informed. You can also see that I've seeded in here questions that I think you need to ask yourself to be ready based on what the HR people told me uh, about the skill gaps. I also included some video I'd strongly recommend you start with a video just to get into it and get a sense for uh, what the experts are saying about the future and the challenges. So I mentioned there was a template. Let's take a look at that. You just click the download. And you can see in my browser that the download is in the upper right corner. And your browser might be a little different. But you can see there's a template. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It'll take just a second. The first thing you're going to want to do is to make a copy. But I want to walk you through the structure. So for each one, there's an explanation. How will this template help me? In other words, why would I even do this? Well, there's a clear outcome here. You need to have your own informed point of view about the future of work. Imagine yourself in an interview for a job. The more articulate you are about what you see as the direction that you need to go and companies need to go to be future ready, the more likely you're going to impress uh, the interviewer. You need to have your own point of view because that, because that is going to drive your own personal plan, but it's also going to be very useful to you personally in interviews. I'm going to close that template, but the idea is you would fill out this template, do, the own, do your own research, have your own insights and points of view about what the future is. 
Let's move on to the next one, a plan to be relevant. The structure is very similar on the web page. You download the plan to be relevant template. It gives you a document you make a copy of. You make it your own. You can update it and make it, uh, you can change it as much as you want. The intention here is to keep you informed. And as you get into something, let's say you have a plan, it's perfectly fine for you to change the plan. The point is you need to have uh, a pathway defined and chosen. You can always alter it and adapt. You can see that there are resources here for this uh, section. There are common questions that you need to answer to have a plan. Then you can make informed decisions about how to develop those skills. While we're here together, I'm going to point you to this section here. Strongly recommend you spend some time investigating the particular roles uh, that are available, what the Bureau of Labor Standards is predicting as a highly marketable role and skill set, and you can investigate different jobs and career clusters. Strongly urge you to spend some time here. The second thing I'm going to uh, ask you to do is look at your best fit skill paths. College is not the only way to a good career. Uh, there's a trade-off cost benefit for each one, whether you choose to do an internship first, choose to do um, an apprenticeship, to go to a junior college, to join the military. There are lots of trade-offs and a lot of good options. Spend time here. Discover your own interest. The point is you want a plan, but you don't want to make that plan based only on economic outcomes. That's a part of it. You want to base it on, is it relevant to the future of work? Because you will find that you are more likely to have a job in the long term if you remain focused on relevance to where the demand is. So now that you've done the first two components, let's look at the third component. Let's say you've made a plan. You need to be able to show evidence of your skill and to provide your own media to build your own personal brand. The way it works today, you're much more likely to be noticed by recruiters if you have a URL or a website, whether that's a LinkedIn page or your own personal blog, uh, or whether you post code on a site like GitHub, you need to be able to point to samples of work that you have done. I would encourage you, if you're a construction person, for example, take pictures of projects. Uh, keep, an own, keep your own internal resume listing every project you've worked on, whether it's a, uh, a part-time job, even a hobby. Uh, whether it is something you did in your internship, something you did in school. Keep track of what roles you played, what deliverables you produced, and describe uh, as much as you can uh, how you managed the work. You can see that there are basically six components to this, but I want to encourage you to do that. A template here as well about questions to ask and developing a plan to build your own brand. This is broad Skelly. Um, this is how it helps you develop a plan. There are other resources here. If you want to explore, I encourage you to do so. If you are a career coach, a trainer, someone involved in the training or education industry, I invite you to also to visit the learning blog. You will see uh, some of the written work that I've done, some of the thinking around learning, uh, around education, employability, how to do instructional design, how to be a leader. Thank you for your time. I hope you get a chance to check out Broadskilling. That's broadskilling.com.